Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zegers. Today we're going to talk about how loot works in D2R. What I'm about to break down isn't potentially one for one. I might have things in a slight misorder, but I think after watching this video, it's going to give you a good understanding of generally what happens when you kill a mob and how that loot is decided. So the first step is obviously you kill the mob. The second step is the 0% loot chance modifier ends up activating. Now, if you don't know what that 0% loot chance modifier is, there will be a video down in the comments. We did make a video about this because this is a common thing that gets asked. Loot quantity is roughly up to six drops. The items chosen can vary. And if this is a super unique, like Pindle, you are guaranteed two of six of those drops. The third step, mob treasure class applies, which is essentially the loot table for the unit. Out of this loot table, runes versus item split are determined. How many of them are gonna be runes? How many of them are going to be items? If runes are selected, an RNG dice roll starting from the top at Zod starts to go down and whatever it lands on, that's the rune you're gonna get. Items that are selected will go down a series of determining factors to decide the item itself. Game asks, what item type is this? Is it an item or an equipable? Let's say the game says equipable. From the equipable slots, which slot is chosen? Let's say the game chooses chest. Game inquires, what family chest armor type is this? Is it an Archon plate? Is it a dust shroud, sacred, wire fleece, etc.? From there, the game decides what tier of that armor family series is it going to be? Archon plate, mage plate, or light plate? Player's magic find is applied to determine if the item is magical. It decides this by asking if it's a unique. If it's not, is it a set? If it's not, is it a rare? And if it's not a rare, it is now a blue magic armor. If the magic find roll is unsuccessful, it'll turn out to be a non-magical item. For an example, white, ethereal, or socketed. And then lastly, the game says, well, here's your loot, and items appear with runes if they were applicable in this entire setup. In a nutshell, that is essentially how the game decides loot. I might have gotten these steps a little mixed up, but from my understanding, that is the series starting from the top, working down on how items are decided in D2R when you kill a mob. Thanks for watching. I hope that this was informative to you guys. I uh, hope to see you guys in Twitch chat. Otherwise, leave a comment, like the video if you thought it was informative, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.